it out to Greenside. Keeps to the high slot, long wrister, SCORE! As Greenside picked the puck up on the right point on a nice pass by Dakota Kletcher coming up the wall. Greenside skated over to the high slot, put a wrister through traffic, looked like it could have changed directions or knuckled on Doan. Either way, it found the back of the net, and that's what counts with 18.06 to go, period number one. It's a one nothing Riverman lead. And puts it out to Greenside to drive, stopped by Loop by Doan. Rebound, whack that, SCORE! Greenside's long wrister from the left point was stopped initially by Doan, but a mad scramble on the doorstep, and Connor Gorman leads the charge back to the Rivermen bench. And with eight seconds left in the first, it's now 2 nothing Rivermen. Back to Greenside at the right point, puts it down to Vermish in the circle, shot, stop, deal, scores! As Peoria worked it down into the right wing circle for Garrett Vermish, whose shot was denied by the pad of Doan and Cody Dion puts home the rebound and with a minute 47 left on the power play, 16.36 to go in the second. It's now a three nothing Riverman lead. Back to the old Dion, tried to put it to Devolio, shot covered by Doan. As he had to fall down on it, puck was redirected a couple of times into the Evansville crease, Doan got turned around. And I think we almost saw an own goal there against the Evansville Thunderbolts, Josh. Greenside skates toward the high slot, puts it back to Hageman, top of the circle. Hageman drives, SCORE! As Greenside put it back to Alec Hageman, top of the right circle. And Hageman sniped near side on Doan. And with 6.50 to go, period number two, it's now a 6-1 Riverman lead. We'll play it back out to the point. Collintone, long drive, stop by Miller, and turn around, Corbin, SCORE! As I think Bill Iron's going to argue that he was interfered with. There was plenty of humanity behind him in the Evansville crease that prevented him from moving, but I think that was his own team. 